Well, hey there, you guys. It's Ian. This is Average Rose Fitness, and today's video is going to be a very straightforward, simple one, but kind of a cool one because I'm doing a countdown, and I've never done a countdown before, but my big beef with today is exercises, and I am telling you guys about the five exercises I despise, and I have seen people doing these. I don't get them. I don't think they work, and there are definitely some better alternatives out there Things you could do that would give you a lot more benefit than these exercises I'm about to tell you about. These things are in no particular order. They are terrible in and of themselves. I don't mean to diss you if you do these kind of workouts, but they're not good. I see a lot of people doing them, and I don't like them. So let's get right into it. Number one is the ridiculous donkey kick. Screw the donkey kick. Hate that thing. So if you guys don't know what the donkey kick is, you've probably seen you know, some mid-twenties girl wearing tight gym shark leggings doing these at some point, you know, because it's a glute exercise and glutes are apparently the most important thing ever that you could ever do in any workout ever in your entire life. Don't do donkey kicks if you like glutes and you like doing glute workouts. Now, don't get me wrong, I get it. Because of the simple fact that you know, when you go to the gym, there's not a huge amount of things you can do that really focus on the glutes. And I think our brain just kind of naturally gravitates toward donkey kicks, right? Because they look very effective. And if we see other people doing them, we think that, okay, that might be what we got to do, right? Well, the thing about donkey kicks is that even though they do work the glutes, they don't really transfer too well to other exercises, at least that's what I think. So you'd be better off doing something like hip thrusters or lateral walks with a band around your knees, things that use your body as a dynamic system, which I have always said in every single video I ever do, dynamic system, dynamic system, treat your body as a whole as opposed to pieces and parts added together, right? So hip thrusters are more transferable. You can use them to train your squats, your deadlifts. You can use lateral walks if you are coming out of therapy, right? Lateral walks help with knee stability. So if you're somebody who had a knee replacement or you have knee problems, consider doing the lateral walks to help out with your knees. So there's other things you can do that have greater chance of building your glutes and giving you a better functional body than these donkey kicks. Number two is, and I'm blanking on this one. Aha, that's what it was. Upright rows. Okay, so so not terrible, not terrible. I don't like doing them because they just are not a great option if you're trying to put size on. I just don't think they're that good. I think they're good if you have painful shoulders and you need something that's a little bit more adaptable, right? A, a little bit easier to do, doesn't give you a lot of pain. I don't mind upright rows. If that's your circumstance, go ahead and do them because it is a pain-free option. At least for me, that's what I feel. Whenever I do them, they work the shoulders a little bit. But it, but it is pain-free, right? But if you're going to put bulk on your shoulders, I highly suggest doing something like a shoulder press, a standing barbell shoulder press, standing dumbbell shoulder press. If you want to avoid the whole figure four thing so that you don't risk impinging your shoulders, keep your palms in when you do the press, okay? Use dumbbells, palms in. It's going to protect your shoulders a little bit more. So there's ways to tweak it to make it easier for your shoulders to handle, do some lateral side raises to work on the, the size, the cannibal shoulders, right? But the upright rows, just just leave them be. Don't, don't worry about them, you know? Do the other stuff, okay? You can tweak the more muscle building movements so that they don't hurt your shoulders as much. Okay, number three. This is the one I hate the most. I think out of all these three, sorry, all these five, I think this is the one that just gives me the most anxiety when I see people doing it. It is the sideways, like like single arm chest press on the chest press machine. You know, even though it's meant for regular chest press, some people th feel like, you know, doing that one arm crap is going to do a better job, which I've said this before, you know, the mind muscle connection is important. So if you're going to do single arm stuff or one joint stuff, not bad on the back end of your workout, but don't make it the focal point of your muscle building workout because it's not going to do much. The most the most growth I've ever seen in my arms or in my chest or anything has come from doing the double arm stuff, right? Really working on the compound movements, okay? So the alternative to this is quite simply 
just do a regular doggone chest press. Just, just stop being this stupid, you know? You can do this if you want to really focus on pushing the mind and the muscle together, right? But use it for what it's what it's meant to be used for, right? Training for the real stuff. It's not meant for muscle building. It's not going to give you any extra amazing growth. That's what I've seen. I've tried them before. Yeah, it it it's never brought me anything new. So just stick with regular chest press and that kind of thing. Okay. Number four, this is another one, is the hip abduction adduction machine. It's the one where you like, you open your legs and you close your legs and you're like working the sides of your legs and the inside of your legs. Just, God, nobody should be doing this. I just hate it. I think it's terrible. I don't think it does anything for your legs. I think it's just there for show, honestly. It's a way for you to text people and get on your phone while still working out, you know? So, just ditch it. Go ahead and do your lateral walks, do the other stuff, do the squats, do that kind of thing. It's the same alternative to this. The alternative to this is the same alternative to the donkey kicks. So just go ahead and do your lateral walks, do something that is far more applicable to real life and to other exercises, you know, because the inside, you know, you could, you could use the hip abduction adduction as a warm up machine. If you want to do that, do that. If you love this machine, do it as a warm up. Don't do it as your main focus. Okay. Just, just put it in the beginning, do a few sets of a few reps, lightweight, leave it be, move on from there. That's all you got to use it for. Number five, this might be the most controversial one because this is something that everybody's done for years and years and years. It is a staple in the bodybuilding world. Freaking bicep curls. Stop at the bicep curls. The reason why I'm saying this is because if your main focus is growing your arms, again, you're not going to do it with just a lot of bicep curls. You might see some minimal growth, but I'm telling you, put the focus on the frequency of your back and your chest workouts because your arms are going to be used in these workouts. And if you're sitting there using your whole body as one, your arms are going to thank you for it and they're going to grow with you, right? That's where I've seen my most growth. I have never seen growth from just, you know, endless curls and endless extensions. Just stick with the basics. Stick with the basic idea of hitting your chest and your back multiple times during the week. Because, again, the single joint exercises build the mind-muscle connection so that your multi-joint exercises become better. That's why they're there. So if you really are insistent on putting in some bicep curls, do it at the end of your workout. Don't, don't, don't waste time in the beginning. Just put it at the end of your workout. Do some pump sets. You know, put it there, leave it there, move on with your life. So bicep curls at the end of the exercises, the big ones, the ones that will actually help you grow. Okay. That's it, you guys. That's my little weird tirade about five exercises I hate. If you have any questions about those exercises, please feel free to message me, ask me any questions. I'm happy to help. Go check out averagebrosfitness.com. It is the, your research foundation for everything you need to know about how to build your own workout plan based on adaptable, small, logical fitness solutions to everyday problems, right? So go check it out. There's free videos. There's free blog posts. There are live events you can sign up for. A bunch of crap. There's online personal training where I make plans for you and hold your hand for a little bit. Go check it out. Go check out the Facebook page. There's all kinds of other free content. Guys, this is a massive platform telling you guys about the true secret to fitness, which is really and truly becoming your own personal trainer. Even if you know nothing about fitness, nothing, nothing about fitness, you can still make progress without even having to think. It's possible. It's possible. I'm here to help you learn that, okay? So go check it out. We're also going to be putting some t-shirts on the site too, but I'll keep you posted on that. So thank you.